Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. So today's video, I'm going to finally dispel one of my myths or theories or conspiracy theories in regards to this Harbor Freight lathe. In the video where I talked about this lathe, I mentioned how I have strong reason to believe that there's several companies, basically it's the same lathe. What I actually should rephrase and say is that Many companies, their lathes are made out of the same factory, I would assume. I believe at Shop Fox, you have the Harbor Freight lathe and the Excelsior lathe that's sold at um, Rockler. Now, I believe there might even be another lathe that's all similar and part of that, where they literally are the same exact lathe. So, my way of proving if this is true or not true, and it'll be an expen expens expensive mistake if I'm wrong, is... Thing, if we can put this bed extension from an Excelsior lathe onto the Harbor Freight mini lathe. So let's do that. Time! Okay, so let's see, what do we need here? Let me see if I've got some bolts that are that size. And these are just the feet, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I could have sworn I remember there being bolts on the end of this thing. I forgot when you bought this thing, it comes with this cover and I've had to take it off in order to slide the kill stock out. So we have the bolts. So we're good to go. So let's see here. <clears throat> Put the feet on. I'm sure that's logical. I hate being a perfectionist. Looks like I'm gonna need to uh, raise this part. It's just so slight. But being a perfectionist, that matters, especially on something like a lathe. So I've already wasted too much of your time um, watching me put this thing together. But let me do some final little adjustments here and uh, I'll come right back to you. Okay, well that was not as straightforward as it looked like it was supposed to be. I did end up looking at instructions. What they suggest you do is you take the tailstock and you're supposed to put it in and put it halfway across the two. Now originally I didn't have it in the right spot. If you notice this where this lever is, on this side you'll see the, the head of the lever. So you line that right up with your seam. And then when you tighten this down really tight, it's supposed to bring them level. Well what I found is the thickness is just slightly off. 
on these bed rails. So it did tighten them together and it made them perfectly flat on the bottom. But then this top had a little bit of a lip and then every time you're running across, it was catching. And so then you just kind of have to decide what's more important, this other side or underside, or for me, it's this top running back and forth. Because most likely I'm never gonna probably have a tail stop right on this seam if that underside is a little bit uneven. It's always gonna be a little bit over here or in the middle, but your tool rest, it's been going back and forth and I wanna make sure that moves smoothly. That'd be very frustrating. So let's we'll see if that becomes any issues, but as you can see, it, it works perfectly fine. The other thing I found that doesn't talk about in there is you're gonna to need to mess around with the feet a lot. I put the straight edge on here, ran a light along the back, trying to get the light as even as possible. And even when I was trying to get this top flush, one side might, it might feel a little twisted. So by turning the feet on the end up or down, that allowed it to kind of torque a little bit. And then of course, leveling in the center here to bring the metal up. Okay, so yeah, now that I have it all perfectly dialed in, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to take this all apart, but I'm gonna keep using it where I normally have it. So as you can see, it works just fine. You can buy yourself the Excelsior bed extension for the Harbor Freight lathe. So I hope you found this video informative and until next time, you take care.